In this video, we're gonna walk through how you can use this laser to make pictures like this on ceramic tile. All right, welcome back to the shop. My name is Brandon, and I've been playing around with this Otor Laser Master Engraver 2 Pro, which is a really long name, but it actually makes some pretty cool stuff. And for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out a cool way where you can get an image onto these tiles because you could put some cork on the back and you could actually turn these into coasters. These could be some really cool gifts or things you could sell on Etsy, but you actually can't laser engrave with the diode laser directly onto tile. Nothing's gonna happen. I actually ran a bunch of different tests and it just stays blank like this. But if you coat it with paint, you actually can engrave it. And I found a couple different methods that you can use to get this effect. So in this video, we're gonna walk through those two methods. I'm also gonna show you a file that you can use to be able to test your laser to kind of see what gives you the best look. And also we're gonna be giving one of these guys away. So the first method is actually a little bit more complicated, but you can get colors underneath. So you can definitely tell that this is not like a normal white tile because this is actually green spray paint underneath. So to do something like this, the very first thing you're gonna do, and actually the very first thing you're gonna do with any of these tile tests is you're gonna wipe the top down with acetone. The acetone is gonna clear any residue off and it's gonna do a really good job of prepping the surface so paint can actually stick to it. Also acetone's great because it dries really, really fast because of the alcohol content. So once it's dry, then we're gonna come back and put down a layer of color. And if you wanted to have it white underneath, you would actually have to spray paint it white. But in this case, we're using this light green. And then for most of my tests, I'm only doing one layer of paint. Although this base layer, you could have it a little bit thicker if you wanted. Then I'm gonna let it dry and you probably should just let it dry overnight. But in my case, I just let it dry for a couple hours and I was mostly good to go. And then the last step is to come back and paint it black over the entire top. You're gonna wind up with something kind of like this. You've got black on the top, underneath that is green, and then underneath that is your raw tile. So how did I actually get the image onto the tile? We gotta do a little bit of photo prep. Now I was using Photoshop for that just because I've got all the Adobe stuff, but you totally don't have to do that. You really just need a program where you can invert those colors and then you can kind of play around with the blacks and the whites so that you get a really good contrast for when you're engraving it out. So once I've got my photo, then I can bring it directly into Lightburn and then I can get it set up to actually engrave. And then with Lightburn, you're going to set your speed and you're going to set your power so that you just remove that black layer off the top. And then in a minute, we're going to get into a process where you can actually test this on just a sample piece of tile to kind of see what works the best for your machine as well as your paint setup. Maybe you're not using the exact paint I am. Maybe you're doing multiple layers. So we'll get into a test file here in a minute. So this one actually took an hour and I wasn't even running it at its full resolution. So I could have been running this all the way up to 500 DPI. I think this one was around 300. Now the last step, which is something I haven't done with this tile, is just to come back with some type of clear coat, come over the top just to protect that surface and kind of seal those colors in there. Because with wear and tear, that paint will chip off. Because I actually already have chipped the paint a little bit, you can see white there at the very top. You'll want to protect it so that that doesn't happen to you in the future. Now, eventually that will happen no matter how much you protect it. So that actually brings us to the second method, which is going to give you something like this. This again is Baby Yoda, but with the Mandalorian. Now, what's different about this guy is this isn't white paint underneath. This is the actual white tile. And I actually didn't even spray paint black onto this. So let's get into this process. So I actually learned about this process over on the Facebook group. And people refer to this as NWT or the Norton White Tile Method. And basically all it is, is once you have that acetone clean surface, you come back with a single layer of white primer. So once you have the primer set, then we're gonna actually load in the image. And what is great is you don't have to invert that image because as the laser goes, it's burning that white primer. So blacks are gonna be blacks like with your image. Now while we've got this going, I wanna let you know about the giveaway. This is coming from Made the Best, which is one of the suppliers of this machine. There are links right down below on how you can enter to win. We're gonna have this running for a couple weeks after this video comes out. Also be sure and check out the links because that could give you a discount once you actually go through and purchase the machine. Like with most links on my channel, this is an affiliate link. So if you click and buy, that actually helps support me and the channel. All right, so now that the laser is finished up, the last process is to actually come back with acetone again. We're gonna take that white paint that wasn't laser engraved, and we want to remove that because again, all the white on this final product is the actual tile underneath. So you'll come back with acetone, 
you'll wipe off all the white paint that wasn't used, and then you're gonna get this image at the end. Now you could also come back with clear coat just like with our two color setup, but with this guy, as much as I scratch it, it's gonna be really hard for that image to actually come off. Now, the big thing with both of these methods is you need to do a good bit of testing to kind of figure out what settings work the best. Because the difference between a great image and a not great image is not that much. And actually with this test, it was just a little bit less power than what I used for this guy. And I was running it a little bit faster. So one thing I actually mentioned in the review video for this guy is using a power and speed test. Now I've got this linked down below where you can check it out. But one tip I would give you guys is you wanna to get to a point where the blacks stop getting getting darker because depending on what you're doing, more power could actually make it lighter. So for most of mine, I actually wound up running it at a thousand millimeters per minute at 40% power. I could probably jump this up to like 1500 millimeters per minute instead of just going straight to 2000 to kind of see how that works. But testing and kind of seeing what it's gonna look like is going to be a big piece. So something else I did is actually drop in the Mandalorian helmet and then engrave that at all these different settings to see which one wound up looking the best. I wanted the blacks right in the middle and then everything else I wanted to look correct. And you can see when I was running it even higher with power and speed, it looks really, really weird. So I think I wound up using something over in this range and that gave me a really good final effect. Now I've got links to both of those test files right down below if you guys wanna download those. Those are actually set up specifically to work inside of Lightburn. It's using their power scale function to where you don't have to have a ton of different layers to have all these. You can see how I've set it up and changed the image if you want to, or if you wanna look at a ton of Mandalorian helmets, that works as well. Now, if you wanna get more details about this machine specifically, we're gonna jump into a full review as well as breakdown of it right now. And until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.